Hello there! In this video I'm gonna show you how to farm bells by catching atlas moth. You probably know how to do that already, it's nothing complicated, but sometimes you may encounter some issues that may prevent the moths from spawning. So I'm gonna list all the things that you should know beforehand. Atlas moth only spawns on tree barks and palm trees. From what I can tell, there's only one instance of Atlas Moth per island, meaning that only one will spawn at a time. So that's why it seems rarer on your home island than on a deserted island due to the scale of the map. Since no other bugs spawn on tree barks or palm trees in the current season, it is by far the easiest bug to farm for bells, which is 3000 apiece. Unless you're a crazy maniac overlord, a normal person would farm them on a deserted island because the first thing we need to do is to get rid of every empty space on an island in order to increase the spawn rate of the atlas moth. In my opinion, the best island to do this is on Bamboo Island because the island consists of one altitude and no river or lake. So it makes it easier to maneuver around and you don't have to bother with vaulting around or climbing up and down. The best way to make sure other bugs don't spawn is to dig holes. Some people claim that simply covering the whole area with weed is going to be just as effective, but that's not exactly true. Because there's this bug called the tiger beetle, which is the rare bugs of this season that can actually spawn on weeds. So what I did is to make as much holes as possible and only leave an essential path of wheat so I can navigate from one side to the other. You also want to make sure to not leave any tree stumps behind because some other type of beetle can spawn on them. So yeah, you gotta quite literally dig up everything. Another good thing about Atlas Moth is that they don't spawn on bamboo so no need to dig up all the bamboo trees on the island if you ever got to a bamboo island. Even if tiger beetles don't spawn on weed, the holes are there to prevent the mole crickets. So if you hear this noise during the night, that's probably a mole cricket. Other thing to know is that stink bugs can spawn on flowers, so make sure to pluck all of the flowers before digging them up. Then plant them on the beach because uh, they don't stack in your inventory and they take a lot of space. So this is the only way to get rid of flowers on deserted islands. I didn't say it yet, but make sure to not cut out the palm trees because that's where the moth will spawn. Usually you'll have four, exactly four palm trees on every single island in the, each corner, so yeah. They are fairly easy to catch, so simply walk forward with your net, but uh, not too close where they'll fly away. And since they aren't hostile like the tarantula and the scorpion, you don't have to worry about getting wrecked every two seconds. If moths aren't spawning, make sure to run around and get rid of all the fish. Because from what I can observe, fish do mix with the same spawn pool as the insects. So simply run around the island near the water ever so often to reset it and scare them away. And a tip to remember is to swing your net in the water if they are too far out of reach. And that's basically it. If you want to maximize your gain, you can save the moths in your storage and sell them to Flick afterwards. If you don't know who Flick is, he is one of those wandering villagers that buys all your bugs for double the price. The only inconvenience is that he appears randomly, so if you're impatient, you can just sell all the bugs. Not that big of a deal. Uh, if not, you're gonna run out of space real fast because bugs don't stack. Last note, since Atlas Moths are night bugs, make sure to sell them directly to Timmy and Tommy before 10pm, which is the shop's closing time, if you want to sell them at full price. If not, the box only sells the bug for 80% of the full price due to handling fees. I personally don't care that much because I'm playing the game as fair as possible and I'm already a night person, so I'm trying to not do time traveling as much as possible. Another bug to look out for is the giant water bug. They spawn on riversides and they sell for 2000 bell apiece. People were complaining that water bugs and atlas moth were ruining the spawn rate of tarantulas because the thing is all three of them are emerging between the same period of time which is 7 p.m. till 4 a.m. and to be honest they're all pretty fair game in term of price so if you can catch a few of those it's easy bucks and yeah that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed this video of animal crossing new horizon how to farm atlas moth hope this helped you and i'll see you guys on the next one see ya